very good work out there with the Arcanists. People want to believe freelancers have their backs. After Freemark, belief hard to come by. Glad I could help. How's Freelancer Rife doing? Good. She put up a hell of a fight. Of course. She knows I would be angry to write her story for the wall. But, my young friend, she is alive. This is a good story to tell. People will hear of it. Think that'll help around here? Oh, yes. Now, Rife is recovering at the bar if you want to check on her. I will keep an eye out for contracts. Never fear. Maybe I should trim my beard. It is fashionable. Looks like this is your lucky day. Why's that? You just bumped into the oldest man in Fort Tarsis. Name's Jalik. Nice to meet you. You too. You know, you don't live as long as I have without seeing some things. Yeah? Like what? I was there when the scars swarmed the fort's terraces. It was a bloodbath. Happened over 50 years ago, and it feels like yesterday. I was also there when the scars came over the walls. What do you think about that? I think you've seen a lot. You bet I have. More than you ever will, that's for sure. I hope you're right. Oh, I am, Freelancer. I've lived a life filled with bloodshed and disaster. I've survived Strider ambushes, Dominion attacks and outlaws. I've even run from Wyverns. I've seen enough death the last 50 lifetimes. And yet, somehow, I'm still kicking. So what's your secret to survival? It ain't no secret. I'm a pragmatist. I always did what I had to in order to survive. Sounds like you made some tough choices. You tell me. I was in a mining crew digging for ore near Heliost when the main shaft collapsed. We were trapped behind a solid wall of rock. We had no idea of how long it would take for the rescue party to dig us out. I was lucky enough to find a bottle of water, but there were six of us. One bottle of water for six miners? How many of you made it out? I was the only survivor. Why were you the only survivor? If I'd have shared that water, nobody would have lived. So you chose to let five people die to save yourself? I told you, I'm a pragmatist. I guess that's why you're the oldest man in Fort Tarsus. Don't you judge me. You've seen death. You've done things. I can see it in your eyes. It's usually a glint of sadness or knowledge, but in some people, that glint turns into a gleam. And a gleam means they want to see more death. Be careful, Freelancer. I still see a glint in your eyes. Hi again, Bren. Freelancer. Hello again. Hi. If you have time to let... On it. Just pass on the deed. Yes. Hi again. Freelancer. Uh, fancy meeting you here. <laughs> Were you trying to make a joke, Bryn? I'm attempting something new. I don't think I enjoyed it. I should tell you, I'm impressed with how you've handled yourself on missions. Freelancers. We get the job done. Sometimes, from what I've heard. And you believe everything you hear? You do seem shockingly reliable. Shockingly? Oh, uh, pleasantly. Uh, in surprisingly? Has anyone ever told you that you're not great with people, Bryn? Oh, constantly. How do you even have an opinion of freelancers if I'm the first one you've worked with? Hmm. From radio shows and other Sentinels. Have you ever considered Sentinel life? They've asked. I've never been tempted. Really? Really. 
You seem good at what you do, but it's too many rules and regs for me. Oh, rules and regs keep the world in order. A place for everything. Sounds like you used that line before. My mother's favorite. She was a sentinel too. And she also loved rules. Isn't working with freelancers without permission breaking those rules? If the Sentinels don't adapt, the fort won't be around much longer to protect. And isn't that adapting, just breaking the rules with purpose? <laughs> now you're just talking nonsense. I'll see you around. Potentially. My savior, and the reason Scars aren't feasting on my liver right this minute. Bloody Scars. The spike in their activity has really thrown off my research. What are you working on, exactly? I'm looking for a lost Arcanist text known as the Elysian Manuscript. It was inscribed by early members of our order and has been lost for generations. Some Arcanists believe that their writings could help us predict the behavior of Shaper instruments. Imagine knowing Ferelic will create firestorms or scorpions or shatter you into a thousand pieces. We could keep people safe. Indeed. Every little piece of knowledge we can scrape together helps. You're making progress? The heroic work done by my assistants, may they continue to seek answers beyond this life, led to a discovery. Turns out there was a far more ingenious way to pass knowledge along. Invisible runes. Invisible? Runes, yes. How do I... Aha, I picked your curiosity. You'll just have to continue on this adventure to find out, won't you? My... Uh... Our research has revealed a potential site that may answer our questions. Just point me in the right direction. So how did you learn about where we're headed? From very old field notes. There was something the writer wasn't saying. Something important they didn't write down. I'm certain of it. So you had a hunch. A hypothesis. Right. What secrets must they hold? Let's find out. some type, something other Arcanists can recognize.
creatures. All right, let's find that marker. There, yes. Unusual design. Hmm. I've seen this before. It won't trigger without the right stimulus. Which is what? A shift in energy. We create a big enough change, the wires detect it, the marker triggers. Like a fire alarm? Exactly. That shaper object across from the marker is made for echoes. Got it. Let's build a fire. Should be close. Should be close. shift in energy. More echoes needed. Some slimy threads. Ah, yes. Unpleasant. They're fascinating creatures, but only from very far away. Behind a wall, with the lights on. some scars out here. Leave it to them to be grubbing about. They have a special sensitivity to certain kinds of energy. It has to be related to their insect physiology. I wonder if... Kind of in the middle of something right now, Matthias. Ah, yes, of course.
get those echoes. Why are they in a cage? That seems pointless. Like a fishing unit for freelancers. Ah, uh, clever. I kind of respect that. She's shifting. A brilliant use of shaper dynamics. Breaking the marker to detect something as simple as a shift in energy. How did you do this work without freelancer help? Slowly. I fear some associate. Slowly. This task alone would certainly require many uncomfortable nights in the jungle. This book you're looking for. The Elysian Manuscript. Right. Uh, what do you think you'll find in there? Find? Well, Arcanists pursue the truth, but time twists truth, hides it. The manuscript is a window to a very old truth.
Please activate that marker. Let's see what the Arcanists left for us. What's up? What are you talking about? You called me, mate. No, you... Oh, hold on a second. The Monitor is leading a mission back into the heart of Rage. He wants to weaponize the Cenotaph. We decrypted the archive you recovered from the Regulator camp earlier, and we know why he's after unique Shaper relics. Doesn't mean he'll succeed. Did you know the Monitor was there when the Dominion attacked Freemark? One of the few who escaped when the Cenotaph leveled the city. Oh, shit. He's ruthless, driven, and savage. An incredibly powerful cipher and a brilliant pilot. He frightens even his own people. The storm will tear him apart. No one survives the heart of rage. <laughs> you did. The intel also reveals that he's perfected a way to harness the power of the Cenotaph, and we cannot let that happen. Obviously. I need you to find a way through the heart of rage. Get to the Cenotaph first and silence it. Do what freelancers do. Do what freelancers do? You're talking about a bloody cataclysm. He's right. We aren't equipped to take that on. <laughs> of course. Well, I can think of others who survived the heart of rage that day, who never let it go, studied it. Oh, come on. I feel like I'm supposed to know this one. My old partners, Alec and Faye. Intel says the Monitor is on their trail. It suggests Faye has found something important. Last known location. Oh, I can.
So, Halleck and Faye. Intel says your partnership ended badly. I don't know, we just kind of grew apart. Really? Because I heard that Halleck never forgave you for pulling him out of that storm and Faye went... Where are we going? Oh, right. <clears throat> oh, you're kidding me. No, Halleck and Faye are working with Princess Zim. The regulator boss? Oh, please, she's a smuggler at best. She's a full-fledged crime lord at worst. We really need them. To get through the heart of rage and beat the monitor to the cenotaph? Yeah, we need them. Do we? You and I? We're such a solid team already. Of course. That's why Tassin picked us. You got my back, I got yours. All right. Hey, considering that the monitor is both Lancer and Cypher, we could probably use a very fabulous Cypher Javelin pilot combo of our own. Owen, be patient. Pilot lessons are going fine, but seriously, it might take you years. Okay. You know what? This might be fun. Apparently, Princess Zim's camp is like a traveling carnival. Now, it's a traveling carnival run by bloodthirsty gangsters. Oh, who like gifts? So you need to get us something to get in. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> yeah. What could possibly go wrong? Hey! Freelancer in the bar. You must be right. Yaro said I'd find you here. Yeah. You're the one who flew in with a hail of bullets and flaming glory. Not sure that sounds right. Bet your ass it was. Stellar work, big star. You gotta live that crap out there. That was your moment. Me? I was looking forward to performing some community service with my sword Nelly. You named your sword. Excellent. Truth. Old Nelly has been with me through the worst. I keep her oiled, and she keeps me alive. So, I'm guessing you're here to stay. You've been keeping to yourself, but I've seen you around. If there's work, yeah. I get the impression business is picking up. Been tough for a while. A couple of weeks, I was barely scraping by. But man, there's nothing like being a freelancer, right? So hey, thanks for showing up when you did. I owe you one. Glad it worked out. Anyway, I'm probably still bleeding somewhere. Should get that fixed. I'll see you around, big star.